again everyone hope you're all doing well for our education video this week we are hanging out with Stuart Brown from the bug guys and we're going to learn a little bit about the tiger salamander now let's see what he can teach and show us behind me is a small yet pristine example of an Okanagan desert wetland many animals benefit from the wetlands here in the Okanagan however there is a small group of animals that absolutely require it for their survival I speak, of course, of the amphibians. Like most amphibians, tiger salamanders start their life off in the water as aquatic larvae. They look very much like the adults, but they lack legs and they have big bushy gills. Over time, their gills absorb, they start to develop lungs, and their legs begin to grow. Now, for tiger salamanders, in order for this amazing metamorphosis to take place, the pond needs to shrink and dry up. In order for this amazing metamorphosis to take place, the pond needs to shrink and dry up. If the pond remains permanent, so do the animal's gills. It becomes a neotenic adult, meaning the animal will never set foot on dry land for the rest of its life. Tiger salamanders belong to a group called mole salamanders meaning as adults they spend most of their life underground. They wait out the dry season deep in the mud. Thanks so much for that Stuart. We are now all tiger salamander experts. As always, stay safe everyone and get out and enjoy some sunshine. Though they are common, they are rarely ever seen. 